Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another video. Back after a long break, but back with a banger. We get the brand new Pokemon 151 set booster box opening, long awaited. I was lucky enough to get one in the Pokemon Center lottery, so here it is. Well, uh, let's first briefly have a look at the box. So, get some of the pictures here on the side. And then, of course, uh, it also has the tear strip, which unfortunately doesn't do anything, but it's a step in the right direction from Pokemon. But yeah, let's crack it open. Very excited about this set, of course, as some of you may know if you've been watching my videos. Uh, I grew up with Pokemon back in 1999, 2000, when, when it came out over in Europe. Um, I collected base set Jungle Fossil and Team Rocket primarily as a kid. So Gen 1, that's my jam. I love Gen 1, um, yeah. It, most of my favorite Pokemon are from Gen 1, so I'm super, super excited about this set, as a lot of people are too, and the hype has been absolutely insane. People are going crazy over this set, but luckily enough, Pokemon Center Japan announced that they will do a, whatchamacallit, um, print to order wave, so you can just order a box from Pokemon Center Japan, and it will be shipped to you, it will take some time. Um, I think they'll release them starting September all the way through December, but still you can get a box for MSRP Directly from the Pokemon Center if you haven't got one already. So here we have our packs Just uh, take these out. Maybe you know what? Uh, let's start with the right side. I always start with the right side <laughs> uh, Yeah, so let's have a look at the pack Beautiful booster pack where you see the pictures of all the Pokemon in the background there very, very cool design of the booster pack. Yeah, big fan. And uh, yeah, the pack comes with seven cards and two Kidakado, so like shiny cards. I think every, which means that every pack contains a reverse holo and a regular holo, which is pretty cool uh, because some of the regular holos are absolutely gorgeous. And then I think, so a little bit more before we start opening, don't worry, I'll get started very soon, but the, each booster box contains one special reverse holo, which is the Master Ball reverse holo. And so getting any single specific one Pokemon card with the Master Ball reverse holo is very hard. It's very hard to pull, there's a lot of cards. And so those are almost more desired, or they're more desired right now than even the SARs, uh, looking at the prices, um, which is kind of crazy if you get a good one. Very interesting. Um, also, this set contains God Packs. So God Packs are back, which is exciting. So part of me is like super excited about there being God Packs. Uh, at the same time, it's just gonna make the hype FOMO even worse. And uh, it is what it is, but it's kind of cool that you have a chance of pulling a God Pack. Anyways, let's get started. Uh, we got our, might not be, yeah, this might be one more pack than the other half. Um, yeah, this arrived just about an hour ago from the Pokemon Center, it was delivered. And uh, they ran out of their super cute cardboard boxes. It's just a regular brown cardboard box. <laughs> They've been shipping so many orders, they've run out of uh, <laughs> their usual boxes. Um, the chase cards for me personally, honestly, I'll take any card. Um, I think they're all gorgeous. Uh, what's interesting as well is in this set, there are, I think, 12 regular full arts. and. You gotta keep in mind with Japanese booster boxes, you get one hit per box and the hit could be a full art. And there being 12 full arts, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's 12, 12 full arts in the set means that you're more than likely going to pull a full art, even more likely than usual. Um, I think it's 12, either way. Um, yeah, there's some absolutely gorgeous cards. We're starting off with a very cute slow poke here. Our ponyta. Oh, we got our first reverse holo, and it is the Eevee. So this is the regular reverse holo. Oh, nice print line there. Yikes. <laughs> uh, I've heard some quality control issues with this set because, well, I mean, they've been printing a lot, understandable. Um, even previous reverse holos uh, have had print lines, so this is not anything new. But uh, yeah, this is the regular reverse holo. You can kind of see the Pokeball. There you go. You can see it in this slide really well. So had this been the Master Ball, that would have been crazy. But yeah, I'll put this to the side. Oh, we got a Cholteon Holographic. Very cool. I'll take it. And then we got two more cards in the back. So I'm not going to do any pack tricks. I'm not a big fan of pack tricks. Um, I know some people like them. 
I'm just gonna start sleeving some stuff. Um, I'm not gonna sleeve every card, but I'll just start with a few and then maybe I'll speed it up later. But yeah, either way. Uh, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of pack tricks. I just open the packs the way that they're made and that's how I open packs back in the day and that's how I open packs today. <laughs> yeah. I haven't had the best luck with booster boxes coming from the Pokemon Center. Of course, I understand it's completely random, but just saying I've never hit like a good card really out of the boxes I get from the Pokemon Center. Hopefully we can break that cycle today. We get a Mr. Mime. Oh, this is the, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, this is the Master Ball Reverse Holo. Let's see if I can get in the light. You can see the M right there, the different design. So we get a Mr. Mime a Master Ball. <laughs> right as I talk about not having the best luck with my Pokemon Center boxes. Um, you know, I, I imagine Mr. Mime is probably not that desired, but that's still pretty cool. Got our Mid-Champ Holographic, very nice. Persian, and then we got our Goron, um, the Graveler. Hopefully uh, our Secret Rare hit can make up for the, well, somewhat lackluster Master Ball Reverse, <laughs> Mr. Mime. Uh, yep, there we go. I'm gonna just leave it regardless because these are really hard to get. Again, you get one of these per box, and I don't know how many regular cards there are that you can get in reverse, but it is a ton. So. People trying to complete, let's say, a reverse hollow, master ball reverse hollow set, you know, I mean, it would be tough. I mean, it would be impossible to do it just by opening boxes almost. So, even a Mr. Mime is probably a pretty decent card still. Uh, but yeah, there's definitely, uh, definitely could have been better cards for sure. All right, continuing on, pack number three. Diglett. Nice, we got our little matchup. Reverse, and we got our first EX, the Alakazam EX. Very nice, I'll take it. Very cool. And then two more, oh, we got the Kadabra in the same pack. That's neat, so first Kadabra card in many, many, many years. So that's kind of special. That's very nice. Um, out of the regular full arts that I talked about earlier, um, I am kind of, let's see, um, I'd be happy with pulling like six of them. Um, yeah, but half of the full arts are cards that I would love to pull. The other half are, mm, they're okay. <laughs> you know, they're like a jinx and those kinds of cards. Uh, but yeah, no, it is what it is. Art rares, I mean, art rares, some incredible art rares. I think we should get three art rares per booster box. Dratini. Bogas. Oh, Psyduck, cute. Oh, we got a Pikachu reverse. That's nice. It is just a regular reverse, but it is a Pikachu regardless. And it has a print line as well. And then we got our Beedrill holographic, following it up with two more cards right here. Um, you know, I'll take a Pikachu. That's awesome. I'm happy with that. Had this been the Master Ball reverse holo, let me tell you what. I saw a price of the Master Ball reverse holo Pikachu go for like over 100,000 yen, which is... You know, absolutely, absolutely insane. Pure insanity, if you ask me. Okay, I have to manage my space here a little bit better, sorry. All right, let's make some piles like this, maybe. Try not to throw over the jumbo cards at the back. Moving on. All right, I think we should get four EXs. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, yeah, I think four EXs is the pull rate. Beautiful Electabuzz artwork, love it. Radata Reverse Hollow. Then we got our Arbok EX, second EX of the booster box. It is the Ar booster box. It is the Arbok. Nice, pretty cool, pretty neat. Um, yeah, of course, I'm hoping to pull one of the starter EXs, but I think those are going to be very affordable. Prices in general, like prices of the even the SARs, the special art rares, they're they're not that like crazy high right now. There's a few that are expensive, and of course the Erika SAR is very expensive, but a lot of the regular Pokemon SAR are not as crazy as we've seen with other sets. Like nothing is as crazy as the Giratina alt art, nothing's as crazy as the Lugia alt art. So it's looking pretty good. And of course, a lot of the set was printed and more is coming, you know, between September and December. And I'm sure there will be more, um, released in Japan directly to card shops and so on and so forth. So 
There's gonna be a lot of those cards out there. I'm not too worried about the prices. All right, we got our Chiovani trainer right here in reverse. That's kind of cool. I'll take it. Then we got our Gengar. Nice. This was one of the hollows I really wanted to pull. Absolutely fantastic. Komiya artwork on this Gengar right here. That's amazing. I'll take it. Oh, and then we got the regular Chiovani in the back plus very, a very cool Scyther. So that's fantastic. Uh, oh, new pack of sleeves. Uh, yeah, I've been having really bad luck when it comes to centering <laughs> with my pulls. Uh, if you've watched my booster box openings on this channel, I think every single hit I've ever pulled has been off center. <laughs> Uh, I opened a few random packs the other day, just loose packs I bought, I, and I actually pulled a um, an SAR from Violet EX. I pulled it was a Spider Ops, so nothing crazy, but it's the first like alternate art I've ever pulled outside of the V Star Universe ones because they are you know your guarantee one per box. But I pulled like an alternate art or an SAR. I was super excited, you know, Spider Ops. It's whatever, but it was it's a cool looking card, but like so off center. <laughs> so my luck with centering is just terrible oh we get the gloom here reverse oh we get the Oma star holographic another incredible artwork very nice and then arcanine gorgeous card as well and we get our slow bro right here nice yeah uh, liking the cards liking the artwork yeah i like taking my time Opening packs, appreciating the artwork. Uh, I've, said it, I've said it time and time again in like every single one of my videos. I'm someone who really appreciates artwork. I love regular hollows. I think they are fantastic. And so I enjoy looking at them. Oh, we got our first uh, starter here. We got the Squirtle. Very nice. Cute. Pippi. Gratini. We get the Vile Plume Reverse, followed up by a Moltres Hollow. Look at this artwork. Incredible art style. Love it. We get the Rapidash, and then, oh, a War Turtle. Same pack. Nice. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like, uh, I don't know, whenever I see a booster box opening and people just skip through every single car to try and find, you know, the kind of the hit as fast as possible, just, I don't know, it just feels kind of weird to me. It's like, are you only opening the box to find like the secret rares? That that's all you care about? Like, eh, I don't know. I think it's just a a symptom of the time that we are in, where everything is about stonking, everything is about value. Of course, you know I care about value as well. And you know these booster boxes, even MSRP, you know you're spending a lot of money throughout the year. Persian, yeah, the print lines, eh? Every single one, like, tut tut. Ah, it's just how these go. Oh, the Articuno! It's nice to go from Moltres to Articuno. Very cool holographic right there. Onyx and then the Taurus. Yeah, you know, like I said, I, I do care about value, obviously. You know, as you spend a lot of money on Pokemon booster boxes and products throughout the year. And so pulling cards that have some value is nice. So that's obviously something you're always hoping for. But uh, just like, I don't know, the people that only care about value uh i don't know like I'll, I'll open a pack the way some people open packs just to kind of demonstrate what i'm talking about they'll open it up and they go like this oh nothing and then they move on it's like that's not fun like how is that fun i don't know anyways uh ratata logos licky tongue we got our reverse holo crabby very cute and we got our hollow star me this is a fantastic artwork the hitmon elite and then a um, pixie in Japanese. Let's have a look at this artwork. Beautiful. The corals under the water, underneath the water. Very nice card. Hollows are very off center, but that's again, that's that's been standard these days and people still talk about, uh, you know, Japanese quality control. Um, honestly, Maybe it's still better than English. I'm not sure. You know, I haven't opened an English pack in a long time, but um, like quality control in Japan hasn't been that good. <laughs> but it's fine. You know, it's okay. Man, it would be cool to complete a binder set in like reverse hollow, not the master ball, but just like regular reverse hollow it would be nice. All right, I think this is the last pack of our first half. Um, like I said, there may have been even been one more pack in this half. So, but yeah.
ดูดูโอมัจจุรปคอมบัน We got our reverse holo. Um, why is this name escaping me right now? <laughs> Firo, Spiro, 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 not Firo. Damn. Oh, we got the Flareon holographic in Japanese booster, booster in Japanese. Insane artwork right here. Absolutely sick. But you can see like super OC. Very nice. Bit of off, and then the. All right, yeah. Some names I'm better with in Japanese, others in English, and then others in German. It's sometimes kind of difficult when you grow up and collect in like three different languages, or primarily two, primarily like Japanese and German, and then so like for me the English names are sometimes kind of tough. But right, let's move on. Took the first pack. Out of this remaining half back here. Oops. Please don't fall over. So we've only pulled two EXs in this half. Um, not a single R rare yet, and our secret rare hit is still coming. So that's kind of crazy. Subat Abra. Very cute. Oh, there we go. We got our first R rare. This is the Snorlax. Hell yeah. This is definitely one of the ones I wanted to pull. Very cute with the Pidgey sitting on top of the stomach and Diglett there. Kind of trying to crawl underneath, but it's being blocked by Snorlax. That's awesome. That is fantastic. That is a card I'm very happy to pull. Oh, we got the Mr. Mime Hollow. <laughs> it's coming back. <laughs> right on. And then a trainer card. So very sick art rare pull. Very happy with that. I'll take it. I'll take a Snorlax. But even this one, you can see, pretty off-center. You know, people still talk about, you still hear, like, on the internet, people talk about how, oh, yeah, pack fresh Japanese, PSA 10 all day long. Well, um, I don't think I've pulled a single card that's, like, we'll get the PSA 10. Maybe the maybe the Alakazam. So just to kind of put things in perspective and <laughs> sort of share the reality, the truth, is that Japanese is nice quality, but it's not as good as a lot of people say it is. All right. I'm also saying this, by the way, the reason why I'm also saying this, the reason why I'm pointing it out so much with the centering, etc., is because I want to warn people, you know, there are so many people who are buying these booster boxes for, what is it, 130, 140 US dollars, you know, outside of Japan, which to me is absolutely crazy. That is, you know, 140 US dollars is about three and a half times MSRP. These booster boxes, MSRP is 41 US dollars in Japan, 41. So 140 is like three and a half times MSRP that people are paying. Like, no problem. Yeah, I'll buy a box for three and a half times MSRP. Like, if you bought an English booster box for three and a half times MSRP, you'd be paying like 400 US dollars for a brand new English booster box. Ask yourself, would you be paying $400 for an English booster box? Probably wouldn't. A brand new set? Like, hell no. But for some reason with Japanese, people are just like, yeah, no problem. I'll pay that much. I, I just don't get it, and I want to point out to people, hey, look, you're paying 140 bucks. Yeah, you might pull cool Snorlax, but it's maybe going to be off-center, so, like, have fun with that. Like, even at MSRP, it's always not worth it to open stuff. Like, it's never a good idea. Oh, nice. Cubone. This is a sick one. I love this one. Yeah. Oh, we got a hit, and I think this might be... Okay, this might be... I think this might be our hit. Okay, 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 okay. I'll go back to what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's get the cards from the back first. Duck Trio. And then we got our Kingler. All right. What did we get? Oh, it's just an EX. <laughs> Ooh, the tension. Mew EX, so that's really good. First of all, I love Mew. Who doesn't like Mew? That's a sick card. But also, I think it's very playable. So this is actually a really good card to pull. Oh, that's a cool card. But yeah, uh, what I was talking about earlier. Look, um, I understand that buying stuff from outside of Japan, you're going to have to pay above MSRP. Even if you buy it directly from the Pokemon Center, uh, like you get a box in the lottery, you still have to pay for international shipping and maybe like yeah, import taxes or whatever. I get that. But three and a half, four times MSRP is just so far off what is reasonable for a new set. And you're not gonna get 
your money's worth. You're just not. And if you think, yeah, okay, my, you might pull the, the SAR Erica, sure, but you might as well play the lottery at that point. Um, and, you know, people are saying, well, you know, I'll, I can grade the card. I can make money back by grading the card. Well, again, you pull the Snorlax, well, it would probably get a PSA 9. So, again, I'm just pointing it out to people that spending this much on these new sets is not a good way to spend your money. It really is not. And I do not understand why people do it. All right, sorry for the rant. Um, all right, we get the Licky Tongue Reverse. That's cool. I'll take it. Then we got a Electrode holographic very cool and then we got the uh sand true sand slash again another one i'm not sure in english the tentacruel this is kind of a funky artwork very interesting but yeah um i get it it's fun to open new sets i i get that it's like you want to be part of it you want to take part you want to you know you don't want to wait you know i get all of that but it's just like don't throw your money down the drain people <laughs> don't do it um it is not worth it um and you can just wait, you can just order one from Japan right now, from the Pokemon Center, right now on the website. You can go and order one. You just need to have a proxy sir, proxy address and then you can do it, no problem. All right, Electrode. I have Voltorb, sorry. Um, why is his name escaping me? <laughs> oh, like, these artworks are really cool. Uh, oddish, oddish, oddish. Yay, Growlithe Reverse. That's cool. I'll take Growlithe Reverse. Very nice. Oh, there is our hit. Okay. <laughs> it's a good one. Uh, I'm happy with that. It's a good one. Um, it looks a little bit dark in the video. It doesn't look as dark in person. But yeah, I got two more cards. Pincer and then a trainer. So we pulled the Blastoise Full Art. Sick card. Again, with these regular Full Arts. I'm a huge fan of the regular Full Arts in Japanese because of the texture. The texture on the regular full arts, uh, full arts is just outstanding. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous card. Uh, Blastoise is a good one to pull. Not my favorite artwork. I feel like they could have done it a, bit of a, a bit of a more interesting pose. Uh, the Charizard full art I quite like. Um, but it's a Blastoise. I'll take a Blastoise all day long. Um, but again, as you can see, again, I'm pointing it out because I was talking about it earlier. Look at that centering. Turning it upside down is even easier to see. Look at the centering, this side to this side. So thin on this side, would never get a PSA 10. And so imagine you spend $140 for a booster box and this is your hit. Again, this is our hit, that's it, that's it. That's our hit. Um, yeah, that's why people don't spend that much money. Just don't do it. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Happy to pull up Blastoise. It's gonna look great in the binder. That's sick. I'll take it. We got, so we got one, two, three, four, five packs left. Of course, we still have the chance of pulling a golf pack. We still have the chance at um, pulling a second hit. I, I know I said that's it. There is a chance with Japanese booster boxes that you can pull a second, like an ultra rare, like a gold card, or sometimes it's a trainer, a secret rare trainer, on top of your regular hit. It is possible, but it's not the norm. The norm is what you're seeing right here. Okay, so we should get two more Art Rares, and I think one more EX. Would love to pull a Starter EX, still waiting for that. Um, all right, chop. Muck. Cool, oh, we got the Needle Queen Reverse. That's another great artwork. We got the Marowak Holographic, fantastic card. I get the Snorlax non-holo and oh yes, nice. We pulled the Haunter non-holo Kamiya. Just awesome looking artwork. So fantastic card right there. But yeah, assuming that that's our hit for the, from the box. Once again, another box from the Pokemon Center Japan that, uh, well, uh, has not been that good. You gotta do me wrong. I appreciate it. I like the card. I am glad I pulled a Blastoise and not a Chinx. <laughs> Full art. Uh, but still, I've yet to pull like an SAR or, you know, a gold card or whatever from a, a Pokemon Center booster box. It has yet to happen. Maybe in the future. Well, all hope is not lost. There's still a little bit more, more to go through. Oh, yes! We got the Psyduck Art Rare. Nice. Another one of the ones I wanted to pull. Just very cute. Kodaku in Japanese, Psyduck. Oh, and then we have 
another EX. Oh, okay, another EX here. Okay, we got the pu uh, Pukudin. I think oh, English is like Jigglypuff, Wigglytuff? Um, yeah, I think Wigglytuff, maybe. EX, so no starter EX in our box. We got the Golduck and then the Nido Reno. All right, I think that's all our EXs for the box, I believe. So no starter EX, unfortunately. Make room there next to Blastoise, but we did get a cute little Psyduck art rare. Very nice. Again, the camera makes it look kind of dark. It's a lot, it's not as dark in person. And once again, for the people, just pointing out off center. <laughs> you know, for me, it's fine. You know, again, I do grade cards and I am looking for cards to grade, you know, from 151 as well. But with these, I'm more than happy to just put these in the binder. It's this actually the first set in a long time that I'm where I'm thinking about doing a complete binder set. Depending on how expensive the chase cards are, like if that Erica is as expensive as it is right now in a few months, then I might never complete a binder set, but I'm thinking about it. The last one I completed was the 25th anniversary. Um, so, you know, I would like to complete a binder set um, or I'm thinking about it. So I'll take any card, doesn't matter, centering, etc. doesn't matter to me as much with these cards but I'm just pointing it out. Oh yes, we do get the Vaporeon Hollow. That is amazing. Man, these Evolution Hollows are outstanding. Absolutely gorgeous cards. Real bangers. We get the uh, Alma Knight and we get the Gloom. Um, yeah, these have been beautiful, the Evolutions. And I'm glad that the, uh, this, this is gonna sound weird, but I'm glad that the Evolutions only got regular hollows. Um, I like those cards or I like those Pokemon, but man, after EV years and all of that, we really didn't need like an Evolution SAR or something in this set. So I'm glad they only got regular hollows and they look fantastic. So we'll have a look at them again afterwards. But um, two more packs, two more packs to go. All right, we get the Paris Pikachu. I'll take any Pikachu I can get. We get the Fossil. Very cool artwork. Oh, nice, we get the uh, Graveler, I think, in English. Good old in Japanese. Oh, yes, we pulled the Ditto Hollow. Another one I really wanted to pull. Metamon in Japanese. Very cute artwork. Get a little Ditto hiding down there. Get the Bill, Bill's transfer, and then the Nido Queen. No Hollow. So that's nice. Um, yeah. Good fun to open. Just, you know, only seeing Pokemon I recognize is nice <laughs> for a change. <laughs> um, yeah, very cool, very cool. All right, put these over here. I'll sleeve some of the non hollows later. Um, all right, last pack of 151. All right, Cubone, Nidoran. Mail. Toranceru Metapod. Oh, let's go! I forgot we I forgot we still have had one art rare left. And we pulled the Charmander. I'll take it. Nice. That is cool. Very happy with that. And then we get an, another Vile Plume. I feel like we pulled several of these. Radicate. Alright. Let's go. We pulled the Charmander. Art rare. That is cool. So we did get a starter amongst the art rares and the EXs, so that's good. Well, I guess we pulled the full art Blastoise, but yeah, very nice. It's not the Charizard SAR, but it's nice. Charmander is cool. I'll take it. And then the Vileplume Hollow. All right, let's go through our hits from the pack. We are starting uh, from the box. Sorry, we are starting it off with the Reverse Hollows. Just going through these real quick. I, I'm a big fan of Reverse Hollows. I think they're cool. Uh, a lot of them actually retain decent value. Uh, I think they all have print lines. So that's just going to be the norm. Persian. I really like this Persian. Yeah, these are just really cool. The Giovanni is nice. Pikachu is beautiful. And then here's our Master Ball. The Eevee is nice too. And our Master Ball Reverse Hollow. <laughs> oh man, had this been like, I don't know. The Pikachu or the Eevee or even a Growlithe or, or, or um, yeah, I don't know. 
yeah, maybe like one of the other, one of these three, it would have been a pretty sick pull. But I'll take it. Kind of, kind of a, a bit of a meme here with the Mr. Mime, but that's that's kind of funny. All right, our hollows. I'm excited that it's a hollow per pack. Uh, like I said, I love the regular hollows. You know, vile plume, our ditto, the Vaporeon. Again, a set. These look sick. The Marowak, Electrode, Mr. Mime again, the Flareon. Starmie, Articuno, Moltres, Omastar, the Gengar as well, amazing card, and then the Jolteon. Like, yeah, the Evolutions look sick, the artwork on these. In general, the regular Hollow artwork, as usual, is just fantastic. All right, then have a look. Let's have a look at maybe our Art Rares. All right, we got the Charmander, the Psyduck. And the Snorlax, so very, very happy with our artware pulls. For once, uh, I actually pulled some of the artwares I wanted to pull, although I will say I wanted to pull most of them, so <laughs> that was not, uh, uh, you know, not a surprise there, but uh, these are definitely nice. And then uh, for the EXs, we pulled the Wigglytuff, uh, we pulled the Mew, so that was a really nice pull. Very sick. We pulled the Arbok. And then our oh is it wait oh it's in the back it's still there it's reaching past the camera is kind of awkward yeah we pulled the Alakazam EX as well so that's really nice as well big fan of Alakazam very nice card and then of course our hit of the box is the Blastoise full art it's just once again let's have another look at the texture on the full arts it's just outstanding like incredible. But yeah, so I think, you know, I had a great time opening this, it was a lot of fun, but I think maybe this will demonstrate this. I think this box is a good example, as most boxes or all boxes that I open on my channel, <laughs> is a good example why, um, you know, spending 140 bucks to get, get these hits that you're seeing right here in my hands and in the back. Yeah, 140 bucks is pretty rough. So please, people don't don't throw away your money like that um but yeah cool cards cool new set i enjoyed it uh, stay tuned i've got more videos coming up over the next few days i got some of these to open up the little binder set so there's a few more packs in here uh, but yeah that's it for this video sorry about the rant there in the middle but i just had to talk about it it's been ah how should i put it the last few months in japan have been pretty frustrating with the way the current market is going everything's kind of out of control and you know, it was already hard to get product, get boxes a few months ago. It's even worse now. And uh, yeah, it, it's kind of, it's it's a little bit scary. And, and I'm a little bit worried that people are overspending a lot on a lot of cards these days. And, uh, you know, new booster boxes. And that's, I felt compelled to have that little rant there in the middle, just to kind of maybe talk some sense into people, you know. Um, don't get me wrong. It's a cool set. It's fun to open. I had a blast. Uh, cool cards, but you know, four times MSRP. Yeah, I, I'm a little bit worried about you know what this because I think long term it could hurt the hobby if people get burned spending this much money. Um, not just booster boxes, but like some of the car prices these days. You know, PSA prices or just raw prices for certain cards. It's just everything is a little bit crazy and a little bit scary and a little bit worried. Uh, so that's why I felt compelled to say what I said. Um, but yeah, either way, I uh, had a great time. And uh, yeah, glad I pulled the Blastoise. You know, actually, this is kind of funny. Um, Blastoise, or I should say uh, Squirtle, was the starter that I chose when I played Pokemon Blue. Was it was blue or red? I don't know which one I had. I don't remember which one I had as a kid because my I have a few sisters, and so we had a couple copies each. I don't know which one I played, but either way, you know, the very first Pokemon game that came out that I played a ton as a kid that I played with my friends. Uh, you know, we battled each other later on uh, through the like, kind of the connection cable. But yeah, the char the, the the starter that I chose was Squirtle, and I remember having a sick-ass Blastoise there at the end, and the first time I played Pokemon. So for me, out of the 151 set to pull the Blastoise, that's really cool. So I'm, I'm very happy about that, very stoked. And you know, even with the centering, it's, 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 it was meant as a binder copy, no matter what, so this is, this is great. 
But yeah, look at these cards, just fantastic. And of course, you know, this is a callback to the original artwork. Uh, the original artwork from base set, Squirrel is standing on top of these rocks. And then in the 151 set, he's diving into the water. So it's very cool how they kind of reimagined the original artworks into these, into this new set, uh, kind of continued on. And Pikachu as well in the forest. I mean, this one is a bit more, uh, <laughs> a bit more hard to imagine the connection to the original one. Uh, did I pull a Charmander and, or a Bulbasaur? I forgot. Because maybe we can see see it there. Uh, most people would already turn off the video because I'm not opening any more packs. But I just feel like talking about this set just a little bit longer. It's sort of rambling on a little bit. But uh, wow, we didn't didn't we did we not pull a a Charmander or a Bulbasaur? I guess we didn't. Yeah, there's a lot of different cards you can pull. Damn, that's kind of crazy. Uh, either way, all right. This video has been long enough. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, tune in to the next few videos I'm going to make. I'm probably going to open some more, um, some other stuff uh, uh, in the future. Some of my sealed booster boxes that I have showed off in the previous video. Um, I'm compelled to open some of those that might be crazy, like some VMAX Climax, some 25th anniversary, potentially, thinking about it. But yeah, for now, um, you know, a couple more uh, 151 openings coming over the next few days or weeks or whatever yeah anyways thanks for watching have a good one take care bye bye